Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, this is going to be a uh, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly Tarot reading, July 15th to July 21st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to jump straight away to the reading. So the first card which represents the topic for Pisces week, this is going to be uh, the death card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that you will need to overcome here, that will be um, the Ten of Pentacles. Afterwards we do have the positive aspect of the week and that will be uh, the Tree of Pentacles. And the last one which regards to the guidance, this is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Man, we're, we're definitely talking about someone uh, is going to come back into your life, but uh, not necessarily an ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend here. It's just someone that, uh, how can I say, betrayed your trust, all right? Someone that you had the great hopes for, they did something stupid, you didn't left with uh, a good terms with one another, but here we are here in this week where they try to kind of like explain themselves or seek redemption, penance, forgiveness, you name it. So yeah, that will be a game changer for what it seems. Once again, let's run through the cards. We do have the Death card followed by the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Afterwards is going to be uh, the Tree of Pentacles. And then the last one here is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. So uh, the Death card points that this week is going to be a week of changes, obviously, because the Death card stands for a change. And uh, the, the change about the death card is about a the natural movement, okay? So something that's it's no longer beneficial for you goes away and another thing replaces it. Or the other way of looking, looking at the death card is that a, a situation goes up into the next level. This is the change that the death card um, gives you. But either way, you know, uh, Whatever the states of the situation you're finding yourself at, either regarding uh, regarding marriage, a relationship, you know, or a, a career, uh, it's it reached its maximum potential, and you cannot benefit from it any longer. So now there is only two ways how that situation could proceed further: either is gonna end, or is gonna end and transform into a something even better. So, uh, what that change is all about for what it seems? Well, the change is all about that, like I said, you know, you do have someone that you haven't left with a great terms at. And now you're not, let's say, speaking to one another. So, this has to come to a change because for what it seems, you do have a great deal to learn from one another as well. Or to experience also from one another because it does look like that there is going to be a lot of support 
in there in between you and that person and that obviously needs to come to a change so the change comes in this week um, for that reason Pisces it does look like that this week you need to kind of put your mindset to give forgiveness if you can guys if you can that's that's not an obli uh, obligatory here uh, the accompanied card is going to be the ten of uh, the ten of wands and the formation it is a um, passive enemies so with the ten of wands um, the death card points that uh, the, the death card and the ten of wands uh, it does point that the circumstances are no longer as the circumstances were before okay so why that person really disappointed you well they followed certain rules or certain system of beliefs or code of conduct all right which was alien to you 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 had no idea about it and they simply could not tell you about it and uh, that's why probably you know the whole thing fell apart without you being able to give a reason behind it but the thing is that whatever circumstances the point here is is that whatever circumstances you know um split you apart from that person they are no longer in presence so you can make you can start a clean new relationship either business one friendship one romantic one you just, you just name it so that leads us to the challenging card, which comes in the trust, and that is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles, as a challenge point, can you place trust once again into this person? All right, that is all that the card points. <clears throat> and uh, to make it even worse, with this card, it seems that everybody around you is going to be against you for giving to that person which comes back into your life okay everybody will be against that the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, eight of swords formation it is a, a passive enemies uh, that we do have <clears throat> that doesn't make it uh, that doesn't make it better guys because the eight of swords it just negates the strength that you can pull out from that challenge pretty much here it seems that you will have it you you will find it very very difficult to uh place independent opinion should you uh give another another chance to that person or should you not straight away giving you an example let's say that that is an ex of yours all right they comes around once again but you do have a very good friend which was witness of how disappointed you were from that person so that friend uh, of yours is going to do whatever that friend can to talk you out of it right and i i i personally understand that because they don't know the whole thing i mean and they and they don't care they just want doesn't want to see you hurt once again okay and for that reason like i said it's going to be very difficult for you to maintain your independence from the foreign opinion from the uh from those which are which are loyal and faithful companions of yours that doesn't want you doesn't want to see you suffering once again or being betrayed once again so uh that leads us to the positive aspect uh of the week and that is going to be the tree of uh, pentacles so I uh, positively that is conditional card positively it will benefit you the most if you take the things slowly and with the three of pentacles you have to um, put your communicational skills um, at play let's say that way you have to how can I place it discover or rather like research what led to that you have to talk with this person which comes around begging for your forgiveness and, and and hoping that you're gonna place trust in them once again so you should not ignore them completely with the tree of pentacles but you need to to make them understand you know what kind of a pain or a wound or um, misfortune they delivered upon you they have inflicted in your life and once they understand it all right that will be a sound lesson for them i mean you are you get to be the one who criticizes, and that person which comes around gets to be the one who learns from their mistakes 
right? So that, is, that card here is a confirmation that whatever happened in between you two back in the days, it was not your fault, right? Uh, if you had these doubts up until this very moment, for example, you split up with an ex, let's say, five years ago, and now this ex comes around, but all that time you blamed yourself for it, well, if that's the same ex here this week, then that is a confirmation that it was not your fault. And uh, you have to get the bottom of it, and that will give you the answer you know, what you should make of all that situation. But with the death card at the start, you know, you have to make your will final here. Will you make it and you will put everything you got to make it work? Or you will say, no, I'm going to pass and you will completely going to forget about that guy or about that girl. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Swords. The formation, it is a, a passive uh, enemies. And with the Knight of Swords, it seems that you are not going to care. I mean, you are not going to have that emotional and, and, and as well mental attachment to the situation in a sense of that whatever uh, the situation... Well, I will say it that way. If the situation works out, that's great, you know. But if it doesn't work out, that is, that's even better, right? So it's a win-win kind of like a, a situation. So I cannot see you throughout this week that you're going to end up hurt, that you're going to end up deprived of something, that you're going to end up mistreated in any way because yeah, you learned your lesson, you very well know what repercussions all that thing is going to have, what kind of consequences you are facing. And for that reason, you're going to take it slowly. Um, you're going to, you know, have these meaningful conversations with this person or this is what is advisable here. All right. Just to find out, you know, is it really worth it? Is, it, is, is that thing really worth your time? Now, unfortunately, the death card cannot say what is going to be the outcome. You know, some of you are going to decide to give another chance. Some of you are going to decide that it isn't worth it. But the Ace of Pentacles here as a guidance card. It asks you to do the decision in favor of yourself, okay? Do the decision in such a way that whatever happens afterwards uh, or whatever are going to be the results of your decision will allow you to grow and to further your goal in any way that you do can. So if your goal is your career and that is a uh, an ex girlfriend, let's say, or an ex-boyfriend which comes around and they are only purpose right now is uh, to distract you from being successful into career, then obviously you have to pass, all right? You, you obviously, you, you, you have to tell them that they are no longer um, welcomed here. But the thing uh, with the Ace of Pentacles is that you need to make your uh, your standpoint and your decision in a, such a way that you do not disrupt the harmony that you do have right now into your family, into your relationships, you know, into your career as well. And especially when it comes to business, that you do not disrupt your, your success into your business. And as well, you have to make that decision in a, such a way that you are kept content, right? And the last card here is going to be the Four of Cups. So the formation, it is a um, passive uh, friends. And with the Four of Cups, you know, I, I do suspect that in the uh, in the Ace, but I don't want it to throw it out where, um, out there, excuse me, because uh, the Ace by itself does not say uh, definitively that you have to take the opportunity. But with the uh, Four of Cups, it's pretty clear that you got to take the opportunity or it's advisable for you to, to take the opportunity and to see where that opportunity is going. All right. It is it does point that it is a, a gaining for one from these uh, couple of cards, but only if you make the negotiation straight. Do not hesitate to criticize. Do not hesitate to to make them let's say, feel bad. Um, if you have to say something, just say it. Be honest, be truthful to yourself and everything is going to go okay. And this ending and beginning, let's say, uh, is going to be highly, highly in your favor. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tower reading July 15th to July 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Till then. Bye.